embe ngu ni le loko. Esiku dedi asiku yi. Hey guys, it's Adironke again. Today I'd like to talk about another Yoruba verb. And this verb is urinate. Urinate. So before I proceed, I encourage you to please watch my video on urine and urinating. Because I've talked about, in that video, I've talked about the... Uh, names that we have for urine in yoruba language as well as the different plain and metaphorical verbs that exist uh for urinating if you've seen any of my other videos on verbs and the way that i make them you know that i uh use pronouns while ex and then i give example sentences as well so i don't just mention what the verb is i use example sentences and incorporate pronouns with them so just to remind us again i do the pronoun i and the pronoun you and this you is the singular you so when you say you to someone there are two different ways of saying it. One, if that person is younger than you or your age mate, and the second way of saying it would be if that person is either older than you or you're talking to more than one person, so two or more persons. And then we have E and she, we and you again. Remember that I was saying that there's a different you for if you're talking to uh, more than one persons this you and then lastly day and this would be for someone that is older than you or two or more persons of any age i would explain when we get to that slide if you've not seen my video on pronouns i encourage you to please watch both i have one on singular pronouns and i explained what the pron each pronoun would look like within and outside the sentence and i have another one on plural pronouns and i kind of did the same explain how those pronouns would look in and outside sentences so i encourage you to watch my video my videos on pronouns before i go into the example sentences the verbs i'm going to mention an example sentence that has urine in it and if you want to say uh, I'm pressed. I want to. Well, I'll get to that. I'm pressed part in a bit. But if you want to tell someone that you have to urinate, uh, you would say itongbomi, 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 ito, ngbomi, itongbomi, itongbomi, ito is urine, ito is urine. Mm. When you include mm in any sentence, you're making it either a present tense or a present continuous tense. <laughs> we are going to get to that soon. Um, when you include mm in a sentence, it's either present or present continuous. Bon. I'll tell you what it means. In and of itself, bon means shake. What it connotes i would explain it this way you know when you're when something is unstable you know when something is shaking it's unstable so bon here is used as sort of the let's say the metaphor for you know pressure or well it would be pressuring since this is like i said a present tense so pressuring pressing or making one all relaxed but in and of itself is shake if you were to include it in the rest of the sentence it would be something like urine is shaking me um but shake that is bon. in and of itself or shaking if you're going to look at it as a part of this sentence this example sentence connotes pressing pressuring making one all relaxed me is me me is me so what the transliteration is is urine is pressing me so when something is shaking you you know making you unstable that thing is either pressuring you or pre 
pressing is if you go to nigeria for example and you hear people say i'm pressed or you hear someone let's just say you hear someone say i'm pressed they're saying they have to pee it's nigerian english i know but you know you would hear this often um so <laughs> nigerian english has a life of its own <laughs> sometimes although it's british and then it's slowly becoming i don't know americanish um especially amongst like the elite so but i'm going to talk about that some other time um boom is shake it connotes shake or shaken depending on how you want to use it within a sentence and it connotes pressing pressuring making one unrelaxed shaking one so this sentence is urine is pressing me urine is making me unrelaxed you know the urge to pee is disturbing me kind of so i'm pressed i have to pee is what this example sentence means so i'm going to move on quickly and go into the verbs so i'm going to start with i the first example sentence that i have is i want to urinate you know when you have to say i want to urinate how do you say that the way that i said it earlier it don't go me is one way however you can say it a different way fine urine is making you want to pee and then if you want to say i want to pee i want to urinate you'd say mofeto or you could say mofesheyo you could say mofeto you could say mofesheyo mo is i that is how i looks within a sentence fe is to want or to want to fe want or want to to or sheyo is urinate to or sheyo is urinate so mofeto or mofesheyo is i want to urinate moving to the next one this one is i am urinating i am urinating monto or monsheyo now there is the present tense and there is sort of the um i don't know if they call it the continuous present or something but you know you can say i'm urinating and then you can say i urinate right it's you might be urinating right now and it's not something that you constantly do you're just doing it once in a lifetime or you could say i urinate and you're kind of insinuating that it's something that you do for whatever time period or whenever whatever to differentiate between both although if you don't include lower lower is fine to differentiate between both and say i'm urinating presently just to let the presently be known you could say monto lower lower or you could say mon share your lower lower you don't have to if you put it in brackets good if you don't put it in brackets good it's just to further emphasize that it's something that you're doing presently mon to mon to lower lower mon share your lower lower mon to lower lower mon share your lower lower mu is i in this case Mm, is am um, it could be is it could be you know whatever <laughs> whatever english words fit in there to or sheyo is urinate right but you know it has to make sense so i can't say i am urinate you know i have to keep up with whatever english tenses that i would have to keep up with while translating so don't say oh how do i know the difference between urinate and urinating well that's english you know it has nothing to do with the language itself so don't worry about that um monto or monsheyo i am urinating lower lower or you could even say lower you could either say lower low and remember this for the other uh, example sentences that i will be given you could either say lower lower or you could say lower and that is presently monto lower lower monto lower I'm urinating presently. Moving on to the next one. Like I was saying earlier, you may want to say I urinate. You could say monto or monsheyo. If you don't include the lower lower, 
you may not be doing it presently but it's something that you're able to do Shento. perhaps someone wasn't able to pee for a long time maybe have to lose their genitals in an accident or you know and the urine had to be passed out through another way or you know something and someone asks them are you now able to urinate you know and they want to respond they'll say monto monsheyo i urinate monto monsheyo mu is i unto unsheyo is urinate you know in the continuous present form so i urinate if you don't say monto monsheyo you can say it this way momanto or momansheyo momansheyo it's another way of saying it ma you know it's just a way of saying it's something that i do man man you know mm, it's the same thing it's just including ma you know it's something that i'm able to do you could say you could simply say you know that works as well then lastly for the i category we have motito or motisheyo motito or motisheyo and that is i have urinated i have urinated mo is i t is have or had to or sheyo is urinate but in this case i can't say i have urinate right so i have to say i have urinated i have urinated motito or motisheyo moving to the next pronoun which is you and this you is for someone that is younger than one or one's age mate you know if you're addressing someone that is younger than you or if you're addressing someone that is your age mate if you want to say if you want to talk to them and you want to say you want to urinate and this is just one person that is younger than your one person that is your age mate you know you'd say you want to urinate ofeto or ofe sheyo o is you o is you fe is to want or to want to to or sheyo is urinate ofeto you want to urinate ofeto ofe sheyo you want to urinate and then if you want to say you're urinating presently again don't forget the explanations that i gave earlier as to why you have to well why you may choose to include lower lower or or lower you know it doesn't have to be lower lower it could also be lower it's the same thing and you may or may not include brackets it is that uh, it's something that is occurring presently at the current moment that you're saying it so you're urinating presently on top if you don't include lower lower it could still be you are urinating you know so don't worry if you ever forget to include lower lower or, you, or it's just not necessary whenever you use it you know um on top on share your oh is you mm? could be is and it could be are don't worry so much as to you know when does it when is it is when is mm, is and when is mm, ah that is english stress don't stress you it's just mm. in this case because it's you it would be ah you are urinating presently on tolo wolo on share your lower lower then moving on to the continuous present on top on share your oh is you on top on share your is urinate in the continuous present form so it would be you urinate and if you like you could also say omanto oman sheyo it's still you urinate um if you like you could include man if you like you could just leave it as mm. um it's still the same thing you urinate and then moving to the last one otito oti sheyo you have urinated otito Oti sheyo. O is you. T is have or had. To or sheyo is urinated. In this case, it would be urinated in other cases. It's urinated in this case because have or had or whatever precedes. So you have urinated. Moving on to the next one that is he or she. The first example sentence is Ofe to or Ofe sheyo. Ofeto or ofesheyo o here is he or she. You know, you may be talking about a person, 
whether male or female. You would be talking about a person or a thing. The reason why I made this he or she is because since we're talking about verbs, um, it's cannot be doing things, right? They could, you could describe them one way, but you, they can't actively do anything. So that's why I left it as he or she, but it could also be it. So don't forget, oh, if you say, oh, for example, it is dry. You could be talking about, um, I don't know, maybe corn, ripe corn or something. I don't know. It could be talk, I, whatever it would be it is dry you know or would be correct in that case but because we're talking about urinate it cannot urinate you know so he or she would include humans and animals so and i guess extraterrestrials <laughs> moving on oh there would be he or she fe is want to or wants to depending on you know what the English whatever English rules apply so or sheyo is urinate so ofeto ofe sheyo we may be talking about abeni in this case let's say I'm talking to someone else this is in the third person let's say I'm talking to someone else and I'm saying or or maybe I there's another person with us who is abeni in this case and perhaps Abeni is shaking her legs and the other person is asking me why she's shaking her legs I'm saying Abeni wants to urinate that's why she's shaking her legs Abeni feto Abeni fesheyo O feto O fesheyo Abeni is a Yoruba name No, oh, I don't want to go into, into name transla translations uh, just yet but I'll explain this one Abeni is the one that we begged to have someone that we have begged to have she she didn't come cheaply she didn't come like it wasn't she, she's not a mistake pretty much you know that's a way to put it but there's obviously a much deeper meaning that i'll discuss when we start discussing names so ofeto ofesheyo he or she wants to urinate ofeto ofesheyo he or she fe wants to urinate and then moving on to the next one on top lower lower or you could say on share your lower lower o is he or she mm is is to or share your is urinating lower lower is presently you could say lower you could exclude it all together and just say on top on share but if you want to differentiate between you know something that is happening right about now and something that happens you would include Lower, lower, or Nisisi. She's okay. Once, uh, one of these days, I'll talk, I'll make a video on the synonyms for lower, lower presently. So, Nisisi, Nisisi, you know, there are different ways of saying it that you would hear, but I guess lower, lower is one of the most common ones. So, that's why I'm using lower, lower in this case. But of course, there are about one or two other synonyms that exist he or she o mm, is to or she yo, urinating lower lower presently lower presently so on to on she yo, lower lower and then like i said earlier if you want to say he or she urinates you'd say on to on she yo, and exclude the lower lower you would exclude the lower if you, you could also say o man to o man she yo, that's also a good way of saying it you know he or she urinates they may not be urinating presently at this exact moment but of course it's something that they do and then in the past tense in the past tense it would be otito oti he or she has urinated otito oti he or she has urinated Otito, oti he or she has urinated. O is he or she, T has, to, o she yo, urinated. And then let's go to the plural pronouns. And we could start with we. So to say we want to urinate, you would say afeto or afe she yo, 
we want to urinate afeto you either you say that or you say afesheyo afeto afesheyo a is we fe is to want or to want to to is urinate so afeto afesheyo we want to urinate so let's say someone is calling you and your younger sister and you guys are peeing perhaps at like d different ends of whatever bathroom that you're using let's say for some reason your bathroom has two wc's you would say and to or perhaps you're in some bush somewhere you'd say and to and share you and to and share you ah it's we mm? ah or is it will be ah in this case we can't say we is it'll be ah in this case so to or share your is urinating lower lower is or lower whatever you choose is presently so we're urinating presently and to lower lower then the next one is we urinate so and to you just include the lower lower and it becomes both ways are ways of saying you know we are urinating presently and we urinate and to and share you still correct but if you include lower lower you're just for the emphasizing that something is occurring right now if you exclude it you could use it to mean that it's something that happens or it's something that is happening presently I hope you understand it I don't know why my throat is getting so dry <laughs> I apologize and to and share your we urinate it's something that we're able to do we urinate and to and share or you could say amanto aman share yo we urinate and lastly for we we have urinated would be atito or atisheyo atito or atisheyo we have urinated now moving on to you like i said there's a way that you address someone that is older than you you know i can say oh feto for example you want to urinate if i'm talking to someone that is my age mate or someone that is younger than me i can't say that for someone that is older than me you know so i have to use eh 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 um and i can't say i can't say all for you know more than one person whether both of them are older than me or one is younger than me or one is older than me it really doesn't matter as long as it's more than one person i can't say oh i have to say a eh. this is the plural you so you want to urinate in the plural sense efeto efesheyo you want to urinate e feto efesheyo you want to urinate and then ento lowo lowo or ento lowo or you could even simply say ento you know you i don't want to keep i don't want it to get annoying for you i don't want to keep reminding you and to and share you you are urinating presently you are urinating and to and share you and if you say and to and share you excluding the lower lower you could be saying you urinate and you could be saying you're urinating but when you include the lower lower you're saying right now you are so in this case it's and to and share you, you urinate, or you could say eman to eman share you, you urinate, and then could say eti to or eti share you, and that is you have urinated eti to or eti share you, you have urinated. There's the e or she for someone that is younger than one, which is o, and there's a different type of e or she that is kind of like a bay you know for one person that is older than one so i can say oh feto you know he or she wants to urinate if i'm we're talking about maybe my best friend that is my age mate or someone that is younger than me if they are older than me i can't say oh i can't and the third person i can't say oh i can't say oh feto he or she wants to i have to say one even if they're one person i have to use the they for them so one and if it's more than one person it's one two if it's more than one person it's one two one feto is 
they want to urinate again this could be one person that is older than me or more than one person of any age one fair talk one fair share you they want to urinate one fair talk one fair share you they want to urinate one to lower lower one to lower lower one share your lower lower they are urinating one to lower lower one share your lower lower they are urinating presently they're urinating presently lower lower right about now presently or you could just say lower and then one top one share you if you exclude the lower lower you may be saying they are urinating even presently and you could be saying they urinate so one top one share you they urinate one man top one man share you still the same thing they urinate or they are urinating like i said earlier and then the last one is want it to want to share your they have urinated want it to want to share your they have urinated so i hope you get it now thank you so so much for watching uh very soon i'll make the one for defecating however if you w i have a video on defecating if you are in a hurry you could just visit my video on defecating um look for the verb defecate replace it with to and share your hair make sentences with them so you could say i have defecated for example which is yagbe you know Moti yagbe, I have defecated. You could just put yagbe, you know, in where to osheyo is and sort of make your own example sentences like this ones with um, with this pronoun format. And maybe when I make the video, you can just cross check and see how good you've gotten, depending on what level you are in learning the language please like and subscribe if you'd like to and thank you so much so so much for your support please continue to support my channel by watching and by sharing and thank you so so much for your support so far and i'll see you in the next video have a good day and goodbye